Here we have a question about arches. The question is, what is the maximum thrust in the following three pin arch? Give this problem a try for yourself, pause the video and come back when you are done. So we have a symmetrically load, symmetrical structure but asymmetrically loaded. So we need to resolve the vertical reactions and the horizontal reactions. Um, the, the horizontal reactions must be equal to each other and the vertical reactions will not be equal to each other. But let's go through the equilibrium equations then. We have, if I draw in the reactions in red, some horizontal there, vertical at A, some horizontal at B, and some vertical at B as well. We will know that VA plus VB, well that's the upwards forces, will equal all the downwards forces. So we have a concentrated 100 kilonewtons plus 8 kilonewtons per meter Let's put the units in. Kilonewtons per meter times that length, which is 24, kilo, uh, 24 meters. That will equal uh, 108 times 24. Oops, sadly, my maths, mental arithmetic is not that good. 24 times 8 is 192. So this will equal 292 kilonewtons in total. Good, and I've just said for horizontal equilibrium, the HA must equal HB. So how do we try and resolve either of the vertical ones then, or the horizontal? So let's take, let's try and do the vertical ones first. And let's take moments about point A, which is that left-hand support. So we know that, um, well, the, the horizontal forces will not contribute any moment because they act through the pin. Uh, so there's no lever arm, so that is a zero contribution. Night and VA won't contribute any moment as well. So we our equations are, let's ca calculate all the clockwise moments first. We have 100 kilonewtons concentrated force times 18 meters lever arm plus 8 kilonewtons per meter times its length, which is 24 meters, and the lever arm is applied at the midway point of that UDL, which is uh, 12, but I'm going to write this as 24 over 2, which is the same as that. WL squared over 2 is a very, very common equation, which is why I've written it in that form. Okay, so, and those are the clockwise moments, yes, and the, the only anti-clockwise moment to resist that is the VB times by that lever arm, which is 24 meters. Good, so let's add these all up then. So 100 times 18 is 1,800 uh, and 24 squared divide by 2 and times that by 8 so that's plus 2304 is equal to 24 VB so then let's do let's uh, do that then VB is equal to one hundred and seventy one kilonewtons let me just highlight that. And therefore, VA is equal to 292 kilonewtons minus 171. VA is therefore equal to 121 kilonewtons. Good. VB, that is 171. And this is one two one kilonewtons. Good. 
Um, now I um, we know that HA and AB uh, HA and HB are going to be the same for the maximum thrust. Um, we're going to look at the right hand side because the vertical force is higher on the right than the left. So let's take moments about the pin in the middle because we still need to find the horizontal reactions. <clears throat> So we have HB, which is still unknown. We have VB, which we know is 171 kilonewtons. Uh, that is at, that's now 12 meters. This force is 100 kilonewtons acting at six meters. And we have eight kilonewtons per meter UDL. Okay, and now uh, let's resolve the moments about that point X there. We know that it, because it's a pin, that moment there is going to be zero. Okay, so let's resolve moments about X. Let's do this up here. So Let's sum up all the clockwise moments then. So we have eight kilonewtons per meter times by 12 meters, and that was squared over two because that, that now incorporates the lever arm, plus 100 times six meters, plus uh, we need the height of the arch, that's 8 metres. Eight HB is equal to 171 kilonewtons times um, that length, which is 12 metres. Okay, right. We can therefore solve for H 8 HB, so... Um, 144 times 8 plus 600. So we have 1176 plus 8 HB is equal to 2052. Okay, so a, uh, HB is equal to. Eight seven six divided by eight, which is equal to one zero nine point five kilonewtons. So that means now it's quite it's quite easy from here on. If we draw a triangle of forces. So our vertical component is 171 kilonewtons. Our horizontal is 109.5 kilonewtons. So it's Pythagoras from here on out. So um, let's just call that F. So F squared is equal to 171 squared plus 109.5 squared. So F is equal to... Two zero three kilonewtons. And that is our final answer.